In this video, you will learn how to track the moment when a user logs into his or her account on your website. And we'll do that with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to Analytics Mania YouTube channel, where you can learn Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. If you're dealing with a website or an online store that allows users to log into their account, you should definitely track that interaction. One of the possible ways where this can be useful is to analyze what kind of login method are your visitors using, or maybe they're not using. Another use case could be to segment people who just land on your homepage so that they could log in. By temporarily excluding this segment, you can calculate more accurate conversion rates. In this video, we will be focusing on how to track logins with Google Tag Manager by involving developers. We will need to ask them to push some information to the data layer first, and then we'll use that in our tracking setup. If you want to learn some other methods, I will post a link to the blog post below this video. Also, if you're interested in tracking signups on your website, that very same blog post will explain this as well. So let's dive in. Here I am on a demo website, and this is the login page. Let's say that I want to track when a visitor logs into his or her account. This means entering credentials and clicking the login button right here. Let's do that. Now I have logged in. I have also enabled the preview mode so I can see something right here. Unfortunately, there is nothing related to the actual login right here. So I don't see any events. If I go to variables, I don't see anything valuable right here either because, well, pages slash my account is too generic because, well, maybe a user just opens his or her account without actually doing the login, uh, let's say at this moment, therefore just tracking page views of my account and presuming that every page view means a new login would be just a false presumption. If we go to Google Tag Manager and go to triggers, obviously you will not find any built-in triggers that are related to the login. And in fact, login functionality on various websites works differently because on some websites it might log into another page, on other websites it might do something else. So that is why there is no such thing as universal login trigger that you can create in Google Tag Manager. So in this case, what we should do is that we should ask a developer who is responsible for the code of this website to push some additional data to the data layer about the login. Here is an example of the code that you could hand over to your developer. We see that this is the data layer push. So this is the method how your developer can add data to the data layer. And then there is an event which is called login. So we could use this as a triggering condition and I will later show you how to do that. If the developer is already adding some data to the data layer, why not ask also to add the user ID to the data layer? So this means that when a visitor is logged in, that ID should be push to the data layer on every page view of the logged in user interface. Of course, this value is just a dummy value and your developer should actually replace this with the actual user ID that is stored in the database. Now let's imagine that you have sent that data layer push code to your developer. Developer has successfully implemented and now you need to check that. So once again, I'm on the login page and let me enter username and password. And once I click login, I should start seeing something additional in the preview and debug mode. Let's take a look. And indeed I do. Before the container loaded event, I see a new event which is called login. So this is the information that is pushed to the data layer by the developer's code. And we see the event name and also we see the user ID. So let's say that this is the ID of my user uh, with which I have just logged into this account. Now what we should do is that we need to somehow fire a Google Analytics tag when the login event occurs, and we will send that event to Google Analytics. And that way we will be able to see how many people are logging in. Also, it will be possible, for example, to create segments where we are excluding logged in users. That way we will be able to see uh, how people who haven't yet converted are behaving. So let's go to Google Tag Manager and go to then to triggers new and since we are dealing with some custom event right here of which name is login we need to choose the trigger type which is custom event and in this field we need to enter login we enter login because this is the value of the event key right here so we need to enter this login and then let's name the trigger save it if you want to access the user id 
key right here, you should create a data layer variable, but user ID tracking, that is probably a topic for another video. That's why I will skip this part. And right now I will focus only on the tracking of custom events. So we have a trigger. Now we need to create a Google Analytics event tag. Let's go to Google Tag Manager, tags, and tags click new, tag configuration, universal analytics, then choose event, and then let's enter at least event category and event action. So category, I usually enter login. And speaking of the action right now, I don't have any ideas what we could use there. But for example, what could be useful is Let's say if your website has multiple login methods, let's say one is with Google account, one is with email, one is with Facebook connect or Facebook login or whatever you call that, maybe some other methods. So then I would actually, as an event action, I would try to track what kind of login method was used. And that way I could then later analyze and see like how different login methods are being used and how are they affecting maybe some other behavior or so on. But since we have only one login method and that is email right here, so then I can just enter something like login successful or something like that. You might be thinking that it would be a good idea to enter user ID right here, but I'm not sure about that, especially knowing that there is a dedicated feature set, which is called user ID in Google Analytics. So you might want to better implement that one. If you're interested in that, I will post a link below the video about user ID tracking in Google Analytics. But right now it will be enough to have just these two values. Then let's choose the G settings variable. And finally, let's choose the trigger that we have recently created. And there you have it. Now let's save this tag and test it. After you name the tag, save it, then refresh the preview mode, then refresh the login page. And let's try to log in once again. Click login. And we see that once we have logged in, the login event is visible right here. Then we click it, we see the GA event tag. And if we go to Google Analytics and real time reports, and then go to real time events, you should see the event right here, which is login. After a while, when Google Analytics properly processes th this data, you will be able to see that event in behavior, events, and then top events or overview. And that is how you can track website logins with Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. This was one of the possible methods. And if you want to learn about other options, I will post the link below the video to a blog post that teaches how to do that. Personally, when it comes to tracking logins and signups, I usually find myself cooperating with developers because that is the most robust option. Plus, I can get more useful data from them. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics, consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.